Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Which graph shows the variation of activity with time t of the radioactive nucleide? So in a couple of videos earlier, we have already discussed activity in a great detail. You can watch that also. But in this video also, I would be discussing a bit here. So what is radioactive decay law? So you must be knowing already that n is equal to n naught e raised to power minus lambda t. This is derived from this radioactive decay law that it is directly like the rate at which the radioactive sample is decaying is directly proportional to the amount of nuclei left in your sample. Obviously that those numbers are reducing. So even the speed is reducing. It's like a child is eating chocolate, isn't it? Like when a big piece of the chocolate is remaining in the refrigerator. So you are eating chocolate, bigger pieces. But when, let us say with time, the chocolate is reducing, now even your eating speed is reducing, isn't it? So accordingly, here also their eating speed is reducing just like that. Anyways, so this can be written as negative dn by dt, which is equal to lambda n. On integrating it, we get the formula n is equal to n naught e raised to power minus lambda t, which I have already written here. This is known as radioactive decay law. But this is not about the activity. This is about number of nuclei, number of masses, like what is the mass of that, it, it, it be in grams or be in kgs, uh, be in number of moles. So this formula is used from that point of view. But we want to talk about the activity. What is activity? Now, activity A is defined as negative dn by dt. So this very factor is written as capital A now, and this is equal to lambda n. So this is lambda n. This value of n can be substituted here it becomes lambda n naught e raised to power minus lambda t, which can be written as a naught e raised to power minus lambda t, and this is a. Clearly, we have created another function. We have just derived that, the formula for the activity with respect to time t. And you can see that even this, and also the radioactive decay law, both of these laws are having exponential variation. So we can just uh, see it here. So D should be the correct answer. Why? Because it will be touching the Y axis at some certain point because this is going to be the initial point that is A naught and it is moving according to the exponential behavior and it is going to create an isomptote here. So D is clearly the correct answer. In this case, Y axis is not touched. In this case, X axis is touched. And in this case, both of them are touched. So all the three are wrong and D is the correct answer. So this is how we do this question. This is about the variation of activity. And I have shown you that this activity is also exponential. So my dear students, this is how we do this question. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Participate in Kahoot live tests. As also, you can join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. So this, everything, uh, all the services are being provided by me on the YouTube. Please subscribe to it. All the best. Bye.